Hello YouTube, I'm going to be making a video about um, three consoles I own specifically for um, another viewer who we've been in talks about, you know, different consoles and the ages of them and, and different dashboards they've been on. So um, right here, I have a Jasper arcade version. I have a 2005 on the Blade dashboard, um, manufactured in 2005 with an E305 faceplate. Um, when I bought this one, they said it had the red ring, and I got home, it had an E68 error, so I just took that as the, uh, you know, the, um, the hard drive, which, which was right, you know, because I haven't messed with one in a long time, so I bought a new, new hard drive, and everyone, everything was working fine, so I'm going to show you that, if that is supposed to go back on, all right, cool, um, it's never been opened. I don't want to break. Watch me end up breaking the uh, the little what you call it, the hinges. All right, but the seal has never been broken. Seal's never been broken. It's a pretty decently clean system. I feel like someone just got a hard drive error and was like, you know what, hell with this, and put it away. And then later, someone else got it and they didn't know much about it, so they just sold it to me. Because I only paid $16 for this console. With the faceplate. So, alright. And then this one is a Jasper. This one I got on eBay recently. It was... 200 The seller wanted 250 But I asked him to do 200 and he, which he took. And it's a Jasper. The, the manufacture date is 2008. November 4th. Likewise with this one, never been opened. Not one of these. <clears throat> so I'm into stock. I don't know what it is. Um I've seen a lot of people do the J tags and RGHs, and not gonna lie, I don't even really know what's, what it, you know they're about and why. I feel like in the future these might be worth more because they're stock, but I could be wrong. But it's in good condition, pretty much mint. This one right here was another Red Ring of Death I bought, but the guy said. It had the Red Ring of Death, so I bought this one. Now, I put the intercooler on it. The reason why is because I could care less. This is just like, I thought it was going to be a dead console. It won't die. It's still living. And get the damn thing off. Oh, hold on one second. All right. This one is a, it's a Xenon. This one as well. is from 2005. Now, I think that's just a sticker from the network adapter. It hasn't been punctured. It's just, I keep using this network adapter and I think it's peeling at the label. But um, this one's from 2005 as well. And it has never been opened. So that's the other one. This one has never been opened as well. This one has the latest dashboard. It's, you know, still regular, but it's running the latest. It's just like a throw it in the living room, put some YouTube on, and I don't know. If someone wants to play Minecraft, let them play it. If it red rings, it red rings, but it, for some reason it won't. Okay, so I'm going to turn on these two, and I'll put on that one as well. But these are the two main people to show. Oh, I also wanted to show Rob. He wanted to see some other things I had. I have the Final Fantasy 13 console, Halo Reach one, and a bunch of accessories, brand new, never been opened. Also have another E305, one that's never been opened.
And the seller sold me these two. He just gave them to me for free, which was very nice of him. But yeah, the, with these ones, they've never been opened. The reason I bought this one, because I wanted the old NXC dashboard. And I know this is like out of Jasper and has it. Plus, I thought it'd be fun and nostalgia to have a white old console and make it look like it had, you know, like the old days, the, you know, they break down because the, the, the elites, you know. I couldn't find one for the longest time. When I first got my 360 in 2009, I always wanted the chrome disk drive one, but they stopped making it and they made the arcade, so I had to get the elite. And then with this one, same thing. Never been opened. So I just keep this as like one day, if I sell it to someone, they can have the whole experience, you know. A new console or an older console and like all the accessories just to play around just to have like an I don't know Ugh. all right so we're gonna take this one first and we're gonna try it out Now this is the 05 one. This one's very loud. It just starts to rev up really quick. So. But it still works. Reads games. The disk drive does get stuck. It comes out fine, but when it tries to you know, pull back in, it just, it's like, I guess weak. But here we go. Let me get a controller. And it's on the uh, blades. I don't want to connect it. And it's on dashboard 5766, which I think is the Guitar Hero one, which, you know, it was the one to, you know, Get it ready for the guitars and all that jazz. But yeah, for this thing to be from 2005, still working, never been opened, in pretty good condition. I mean, I, there's no flaws with it. You know, I just don't trust it running for long. But we're gonna try a game. See the disk drive needs to back. Yep. I'm just gonna go to this, um, just the beginning. We're not gonna do too much with it because this thing probably blow up. <laughs> That's why you use the copyright. Got a Hitachi drive. But yeah, this one, I don't know. I just keep it because. I thought it was pretty funny. I got it. I wanted it just because of this. It's all I wanted it for. Because there's a lot of fakes out there with them. And I was like, let me get it. So when I got it, it did have the one red light. It was E68. And I was just like, well, I know what that is. And then to my surprise, it popped up with this. And I was like, this thing's a shrine to me. So keep that. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it off because I ain't going to blow it up. All right. So next, we're going to take the Jasper. And we're just going to unplug it. If I know how to plug it, I mean, it's not the only 
Let me think. I've never done this before. <clears throat> So this was the Jasper. This is the arcade version that came out. So same thing, we're just gonna This one does have HDMI because it's a Jasper, but that's that's another thing. It's the Falcons, you know, had the HDMI, but I don't know. I always want one with HDMI, even though this one looks pretty good with component, just as this one. But this one's running the last available dashboard on Blades, the 6717, right before NXC. So this one is JTAGable and anything of that nature for anyone who even knows what the hell that is. I think the neighbor was trying to come in my house, y'all. All right. <clears throat> but yeah, so here this is. I don't know what I'm, what I'm gonna do with it, if I even plan to do anything with it. I feel like I just wanna have it just to have it. But this is the uh, 256 megabyte version. But yeah. And it plays games. I'm pretty sure it's a, I think it's BenQ because it's got the yellow wires when you open the face plant. Or maybe that's light on. I don't know. Could be lying. So that one works. So yeah, this is just a just a quick video while I get the chance to do it. But yeah, Jasper running on the blades and Xenon 2005 model running on blades. Um, both work. This one just got a sticky tray when it tries to go back in, but both never been opened. All stock. Uh, got the box for the Jasper. Don't have the box for the Xenon, obviously. Um, but. I just think this is pretty neat to have. A lot of people were in 2019 are like, this is some weird shit, but you know, if you want to go back down memory lane, look at everything and see, you know, how Xbox has changed and for the better or worse, which I think the dashboards went to hell with the Metro and everything, but just, you know, take you down memory lane and say, hey, this is what it was like. And yeah. And then one day, maybe I'll just get rid of all this. And for these, I just wanted them because I think they'll be hard to find. But long story short, I wanted them. Boom. And those. But. Oh, this one works too. I don't know. If y'all want to see it, let me know. It's just the, it's got the regular dashboard. This one, I don't know. It is what it is. Like I said, it's never been open. It's 2005. It won't die. I don't know why. But. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. If y'all want any more videos in the future with, with this one or this one or even that, you know, just let me know. Or maybe one day I'll do an unboxing of all that shit. Maybe. We don't know. <laughs> all right. Well, this is for you, Rob, and hope you enjoyed.